All right, hello, we are the Dallas Baptist University Writing Center, and we are doing a video on helping you guys with uh, three different aspects of writing your paper. First, having a different header on the first page. Um, second, we're going to deal with margins and how to make different margins. And third, we're going to work on inserting special characters and symbols such as accented uh, letters. Awesome. So let's get started with the first one. Let's say you have your paper all set up and you have successfully put your last name and page number in the header. But lo and behold, for this essay, you need um, a different header for the first page. So what we're going to do, we're going to click uh, on top of the header and to that section, go to design and select different first page. And then we're going to go to that first page. Let's say that we need the page number at the bottom of the page uh, and so we'll select that and we'll write our name for all purposes for the purposes of this video it's Billy Bop and let's go ahead and change that to the correct font and size okay well, you want to make sure that the uh, font of your title page or not your title page your header and footer um, are all the same and typically uh, Times New Roman 12 point font. Yeah, that's a good one to go with. So awesome. So that was fairly simple. Let's then take care of uh, a different type of uh, margin in your paper. So we, we have this block quote here. And normally block quotes are set apart from the rest of the paper. Um, but let's say for some reason or whatnot, we need this to have a whole different type of margin. So we're going to go to view uh, and the ruler right there not the grid line so here we have the ruler on top and the ruler on the side alright so what we can do is put this in at the one inch mark let's say we need it to go ahead and all the way in one full inch and then on the other side so we just drag these in let's drag this over to here awesome so now it has gone in a whole inch and let's say we need it more on the top, or more or less, or we'll do less on the bottom, tops and bottoms also. So we can go ahead and shrink that on both the tops and bottoms. You use, you use the ruler to do that. There is a capability to uh, change the uh, margins over here, but those are all... Um, preset and they will typically change the entire paper if you highlight uh, and then uh, use the rulers uh, you can successfully change one certain sections margin awesome uh, and then the third aspect we're going to go at go look into is how to add in a symbol so let's say you're writing something and you need a Spanish word so we're going to go to insert symbol more symbols so here we go we're looking at all these symbols uh, luckily, I have it in my uh, uh, recently used area, um, but you know, if not, you have to go find it. So we'll go ahead and use this E uh, with the accent on it, and we'll close. And so it inserts it, and it should already have it in the same format. And a useful tip is to con is to copy it. So if you're ever writing it uh, later. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, I know that's not really a real word um, in Spanish, but just for this purpose of this video, um, let's pretend like it is. We made up a new word. Yay! Uh, and so that's how you insert a symbol, and if you copy that word, that letter, um, you'll be able to uh, uh, just keep adding in, or you can go up here and just click it real quick. Um, so yeah, that's our, our three-part video of different uh, header on the first page, margins, and uh, how to insert a symbol. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a fantastic day. Thank you for using the Writing Center for all of your writing needs.